Hello my friends, and welcome back. This is going to be a short video today in which I address one of the comments that I received on the setup video for the NixOS WSL starter template. Um, Arlen Lloyd3065 wrote, Hey, appreciate your work on getting this set up. Have you tried using VS Code on Windows and WSL remoting? Super interested in trying to get that going since I do not regularly use terminal editors. And you know what, this is a great comment and I should have thought about this because the majority of people do not use terminal editors. So this one is for you, Arlen. I'm gonna walk you guys through how you can get WSL, VS Code, remote, everything working. So if we go back to this uh, starter template, which I imagine you're gonna be working from if you're on this video, let's make this a little bit bigger. There is this fix me here. Uncomment the next block to make VS Code running in Windows just work with NixOS on WSL. So uh, let's get this up here as well, actually. Uh, so it's this bit, right? Um, and you're gonna wanna uncomment this and apply this change. I already have this applied, but I'll walk you guys through it first. So this is gonna make a, a user systemd service. And whenever this path changes, we're gonna run this script where wherever there's a reference to like some prepackaged version of Node.js, we replace that with the version of Node.js 18 that is in Nix packages. And that just makes this work. Um, just to give credit where credit is due, I did not come around, I did not come up with this. This was the work of user K9000. Uh, and I believe there are some very in-depth issues about this on the NixOS WSL um, issue tracker on, on GitHub. So please do check that out for more information. But for people who just want to get this up and running, uncomment this bit of the, of the starter template, apply these changes, and then, and then, uh, you should just be able to do code dot. And it will open up, um, it'll open up WSL. So you have that and you can do connect to, I don't even know how to use VS code. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, okay. It's already in WSL. Um, wait, what did I do? Wait, let me try that again because I got rid of what I was working on. So you do code dot. So we're in WSL because it says, oh my God, this is why I don't use VS code. Anyway, it says WSL, NixSL, which is my, uh, my virtual machine. It has all the stuff here. You can make uh, the edits and stuff that you want and it will be reflected. Uh, yeah. That's, that's pretty much it. And what else can you do? You can do new terminal and you'll be in the WSL terminal. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's pretty much, I guess, what most people want from this, right? Though, hold on. There is one thing that I do need to, um, add to this in my own NixOS configuration. Uh, I've set this alias for code that we just use. So, um, you go into program Z shell shell aliases in your home manager configuration that will be under the file, um, home dot Let's see if we can get that up. Uh, so you go to home dot uh, and then in the Z shell aliases. Uh, yeah, Z shell dot shell aliases. You can also add one where you have this or the equivalent of this code equals mount C users, your user. And then if you've got it installed through scoop, uh, the path to the code executable. 
And now that really is it. So once again, we have remote WSL VS Code working with NixOS, uh, thanks to the little workaround uh, that user K9000 came up with. If you learned something from this video, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like, leave a comment and subscribe to the channel. If you are interested in this cool tiling window manager thing that I have going on on Windows, check out Como Rebi. It is a tiling window manager for Windows written by me in Rust. Uh, it is quite a stable and mature piece of software. We have uh, like almost 40k downloads, a pretty big install base, pretty big community. Uh, so please check that out if you're interested. If you would like to be either a one-time sponsor or an ongoing sponsor, there is a GitHub sponsors page where you can come and set up either a one-time or a monthly uh, sponsorship, even dollar a month, you know, it makes a huge difference to me and I would appreciate it very, very much. Uh, before we go, I'm going to quickly give a shout out to all of the current sponsors. Uh, thank you to the private sponsor. Thank you to Michael, Timothy, Leandro, Maxwell, Gustavo, Solomon, Alex, Evan, Julian, and Hisayuki. You are all amazing. Thank you so, so much. Well, my friends, that is all for this time. I hope that whatever you all do today, you have a great, great day. Free Palestine. And I hope to see you all back here next time.